Good morning. My name is Benjamin Talley. I'm the associate pastor at Witten Memorial Baptist Church. And this is another time out. Uh, it is a lovely day today. Uh, I believe we got thunderstorms coming, but uh, hey, it's a good day to be alive in Jesus. And uh, it's another good day to dive into the scriptures and see what God would have us to learn and to understand about him. So, uh, our scripture comes from Proverbs 9, 10. And it says this. It says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is insight. So, let's just dive in on that first part. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A lot of people say you shouldn't fear God. Um, as of being scared of God, I would, I would, uh, kind of disagree. Uh, you should, uh, be, uh, scared of, of him in a sense. Um, you should be terrified, uh, of the things that, that he could bring upon, uh, you in disobedience. Um, that should, that should drive you away from, doing those things um so being being uh scared in a sense to where you're diving behind every bush and fear of every lightning strike and things like that uh that's that's a little unhealthy but but a, a sense of awe and a sense of uh respect and fear to where it drives you away from doing what's wrong um i, I do think that is necessary um, that's what it's talking about here. He's talking about fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The beginning of that fear, of that awe, of that respect, of that, of that, um, that, 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 that fear in your heart to, to drive you away from, from doing, uh, anything that is disobedient to him, uh, to think twice about your actions, um, that kind of fear um, uh, should it is a good thing. Also, uh, a lot of people, when they hear about the wrath of God, they think, oh, well, um, God's not really, uh, you know, God's not really going to bring wrath on his people. He loves his people. Um, you know, uh, God will bring wrath on, uh, on this world. Uh, we're saved from wrath. His people are saved from wrath, but he will bring wrath on people, uh, disobedient people, uh, those who are un in unbelief. Uh, it says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Uh, that fear should drive us to have awe and respect and acknowledge God and, and drive us to obedience out of love. And, uh, and, and, and so, um, I think, uh, our our theology uh, shapes everything that we believe. Um, every 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 way. Um, let, me, let me word it like this: Our our theology shapes uh, everything we do. Um, the way we act, uh, the way we talk, the way we think. Um, it has a lot more. Uh, uh, dictation or or a lot more uh um it, it has a lot more to do with with uh the way we live than what we really think it does uh it really has a a lot more impact on the way we live than the way we think it does um so it says the knowledge of the holy one is insight um i had a friend who um uh, when he was a kid, uh, he viewed, uh, his, his dad was a independent Baptist and, uh, he would, uh, uh, man, he would, he would, uh, get beatings and, uh, just extremely legalistic dad, um, you know, and, and he viewed God as a combat boot. Um, you know, God was a combat boot to him. And he would crush him at any moment. 
Um, so see, that, that theology of his was shaped at a young age. So he viewed God as a combat boot, as a, as a dictator um, that, would, that would smash him at any moment. For other people, um, you know, for, um, for some people, they, they view God as a distant relative. Re relative. Um, they're distant. They're indifferent. Um, they rarely talk to him. Uh, you know, uh, they, they, uh, rarely spend time with them. Uh, whenever they do talk to them, it's, it's awkward. Uh, you know, um, they, uh, some people view him as a cosmic Santa Claus. You know, uh, uh, God, uh, they ask God for all these things. And then, uh, whenever he doesn't give them to them, they end up thinking, oh, where, where is God? Uh, where is he when I need him? Uh, you know, and then they end up uh, turning away or uh, just rejecting Christianity in general or any uh, religion. Um, and then, you know, we got those who believe that uh, Jesus is some, uh, or God is some high in the sky, lovely uh blue clouds, cosmic, uh, embodiment of sugar candies and cotton candy, loving father where everything is good, everything is lovely, uh, all is great. What's up, Lisa? And, uh, and, and no, we can do no wrong, uh, and there's no wrath, there's no judgment, there's no, um, there's no, uh, rebuke, uh, you know, everything, everything is love, everything is good, everything is, um, positive, uh, you know, everything like that, and, and that shapes their worldview, and then something bad happened, and it distorts everything, um, so, uh, I mean, you have to see how theology really shapes uh, someone's uh, belief. Um, what's up, Lisa? So, when he says the, f the, the knowledge of the Holy One is insight, uh, that means that the knowledge of the Holy One is, is, is understanding. So, uh, he's saying that true knowledge of the Holy One is understanding is understanding so when you have a true understanding of who god is that he is love that he is wrath he does bring wrath on the unbelieving on the hateful on the on the um mockers on the disobedient you know uh, i think i said that but um on on the disobedient and he is just, and he is righteous, and he is kind. You know, if if you have an understanding of who God is from the Bible, uh, and let that shape your theology, then you really can't go wrong. You know, because uh, it has you have to have a balanced view. You know, so many people want to go from one end of the spectrum, and and say that. God is nothing but good and lovely and and then they then they something bad happens and they're distraught and then you know they go to the other end and say God is judgmental and he's a dictator and all this and they have a they they have a a wrong view of God you know you really need to see the scriptures for what they say and see God who for who he really is uh, and it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom fearing the God of the Bible, the true Holy One, and the knowledge of Him is insight. This brings understanding. So, where do we see this? Well, uh, you know, John uh, actually paints this picture. Uh, if we want to know God, if we truly want to understand who God is, then, uh, you know, um, a disciple once put it this way in his book, uh, in his gospel, 
in uh, John chapter 9 when he wrote the words of Jesus. He wrote the words of Jesus. He said, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And then he said in verse 9, verse 9, Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me, check that out, whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Jesus said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. That's who we need to shape our belief in God. If you understand who the God of the Bible is, you'll understand who Jesus is. If you understand who Jesus is, you'll understand the God of the Bible. The God of the Bible in the Old Testament is the same in the New Testament. Okay? So, uh, I just wanted you to have that understanding that uh, the beginning of wisdom is fear of the Lord. And the knowledge of the Holy One is insight. Let your theology of God shape your beliefs. Let your theology of God shape your life. Shape the way you move. Shape the way you act. Shape the way you think. And it will. But have, a, have an understanding from the Bible. Not from your views. Not from the way you think. Not from, not from the way you've been raised. Not from your experience. But from what the Bible says. Get an understanding of who Jesus is. Then you will truly know the God of the Bible. Because he says, when you've seen the Father, you've seen me. Or when you've seen me, you've seen the Father. So, guys, get to know who Jesus is. Walk with Jesus today. Uh, get to know him. Read his word. Get into the Gospels. Read the Gospels. There's no, there's no better way to understand God than reading the Gospels. Reading the word of God. Reading, reading and understanding who Jesus is. So... In doing that, uh, you'll get a good concept and a good understanding of God. And let that shape the way you believe. Let that shape the way you view God. Because um, uh, that, can, that, that, can, that can cause some devastating things, especially in counseling. Um, I see it uh, a lot in counseling. If, if you have a detrimental view of God, a wrong view of God, It'll affect the way you live. It'll affect the way you believe. And it'll cause major problems. But view God as the, as the Bible states. Get to know Jesus. And have a right view of God. Live holy lives. Pursue God with all your heart. Love Him with all your heart. With all your mind. With all your soul. And with all your strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. And you're doing good. I love y'all.